Hi y'all, Jake from GD Honey Acres here. Now I'm hopefully going to solve a problem today that's been bothering me for, I guess, a few weeks now. Found out that my cushion is basically destroyed on this. The reason being, it's a 2008 Ram 2500 and I've got about 250,000 miles on it. So my 6 foot 1, 280 pound self, sitting on here all the time driving back and forth to work where it's an hour and a half drive to work, hour and a half home, that's a lot of sitting time in this seat. So today we're going to try to remove the old cushion and install a new one. I found out after doing some searching on ye old internet that you can actually replace these and they're almost kind of made to replace. Let's figure it out. Go ahead and pull this seat cover off and uh, according to the video I watched there's some plastic tabs underneath that you just got to pop loose and it should be able to just kind of work this up. Let me show you those plastic tabs real quick. There's one of those plastic tabs right there. Then there's another one back up under the harness here see it right there there should be a couple on the other side as well now another thing I'm also going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take the covers off of the controls for the seat adjustments and for the the little lever for the rear seat where it goes up and down let's go ahead and do that real quick alright so it looks to be a Phillips on both you want to grab a bigger Phillips and a smaller Phillips to do this. You always want to try to use the right size of a screwdriver for whatever screw you're pulling out. Because otherwise, you could end up kind of bouncing on the screw. And it will be like you're stripping it basically is what you'll do. So we'll go ahead and... You don't want to strip screws. That just makes it harder in the long run. Especially if you don't have a bunch just laying around the house. and. Some like a random old school Folgers coffee can or something. So just go ahead and grab the correct size so you don't strip anything out. Now the smaller one I could use in this one, but I'm not going to because like I said before, it's not the correct size. There's just two screws right there. Should just be this guy right here. Let's pull him out. Now one neat thing about the way screwdrivers are designed. They have that little smooth ball there. Let's so you can cup it in your hand and put pressure forward while you either turn it out or turn it in. It makes it that much easier. And then you're wearing out your hands a lot less than you used to be. Should be about there. Well, there we go now we're just going to kind of undo those plastic pieces set it up under the seat here and that's what holds it in I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick and then we'll just kind of peel this back and try to get the old cushion out all right we got the other side undone let's go ahead and peel this back and see what we find nice is it looks like let's see if I can turn this here there's this white right here there's white strips there's three of them which it seems like this cushion has velcro that's what holds this seat cover down now what should be going on is there's the cushion kind of folds over the edge of the back of the seat just kind of reach back there and then pull it out there's that nasty old cushion Oh man, it's all worn through super thin right here. Super thin. That's like, that's my left side. This is the, my left hip has been going out constantly. And I've been going to the chiropractor left and right. There's just no cushion here at all. Look at that. You can see which side I kind of lean on. Well, let's pull the new one out of the box. Oh, that's a lot heavier duty, too. Here's those Velcro strips I was talking about. The new one has it in there, too. I got this off Amazon. I'll post the link of this when I get to it. Looks like 
I'm gonna have to cut out part of the foam here where the controls go. That's no biggie. I'll go ahead and get that cut out real quick and then we'll shove this back in the seat. Got that piece cut out, I just used the utility knife. The one thing I did notice just now is that they've kind of got like that fiberglass mesh right here. That'll give it some awesome strength. That other one really doesn't have that. All right, let's get this put back in. This one might go in a little bit more difficult because it's got so much more floof to it. Floof, technical term, just so everybody knows. Totally technical term. Now what I'm doing now is that part that kind of tucked in underneath that I pulled out before. I kind of lit, raised it up some, like rolled it forward. That way I could kind of like, I, I kind of rolled it this way so I get this shoved back far enough and then I just pushed it back into the crease of the seat. It kind of goes between the backrest and where your butt sits, is where that little bit goes. And just like that, the seat cushion is swapped. I can already tell that's a whole lot thicker than it was. Let's get the seat cover put back on. We'll be kind of uh, careful with how I do that so we can match the Velcro up with what's on the cushion. Here's that Velcro right there I've been talking about. Right, now let's just be real careful about getting this all to match up. You might have to end up shoving it back in a little bit more at this point like I just did here. But that cushion, the Velcro, should line right up and just kind of push it down into it. It's real nice that the this is one thing I'm actually going to give an A plus to engineers on, making sure that we can remove these seat cushions and replace them, because they do wear out. So, good job engineers, I'll give you all this one. Alright, we got that pulled down. I'm going to go ahead and attach the plastic pieces, the ones that hold. Kind of like with these seat covers that we all put on our seats to protect them, the extra ones. Sometimes they got those hard plastic pieces that are supposed to go in and connect on the frame. This seat cover that comes factory has the same thing. It's just about a four inch piece. So it's a little bit more difficult to get around things. I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. And we'll be right back. All right, now like I said earlier, those uh, little black plastic pieces, they just kind of connect onto the frame. And it's pretty easy to see where they go. They just pull straight down under and clip where they're supposed to be pretty easy to spot the part of the frame that they connect to. Now let's go ahead and put our covers back on here and then I'll put my other seat cover on there to protect it from when I've got oil all over me because uh, I don't know about y'all but I do get covered in oil quite often and I don't like that oil in my seats. There we go, re-secured. Oh wow, I'm much higher than I used to be. First impressions, man this cushion is, is so much better. The lumbar supports back where it needs to be and actually in your lower back. Before it was almost in the middle of my back. It's probably caused some of my issues. Well great. I'll put the link to this cushion down in the description. I think it's money well spent. I hope it'll keep me from going back to the chiropractor so many times. Well, I was going about once a week, sometimes twice a week. I mean, I'm a, I'm a 
electrical mechanical techs. So I'm always working on big hydraulic machinery and electrical stuff. So I'm always, I guess, throwing my back and hips out that way too. But I think I've eliminated one issue I had. Um, hopefully this helped you guys out. And remember to give me a like and subscribe. And you know, do some of these things yourself. You could have gone to an upholstery guy, I guess, and paid money for it, but a little over a hundred bucks for that cushion, and it, it, I could already tell it's much denser foam. It ought to last a lot longer. I like the construction of it. Real easy swap. So yeah, give me a like and subscribe. You guys stay healthy. Wash your hands. Don't cough on others. And uh, I'll pray for your family. Pray for mine. God bless you guys. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Stay safe wherever you are, whenever you are. I'll catch y'all later.